Assalamu alaikum again. A very good morning, a beautiful day, and amazing lectures. And we are enjoying uh, the lectures. I hope you're also enjoying. Uh, it's very good to see all of you in front of us again. And I hope and pray that you all are in very, very, very good health and you're enjoying Ramadan, enjoying every single uh, a day. Uh, you see, the, Every day is a new day. Every day is a beautiful day. Every day is a uh, every day um, brings us very different, different new things, um, joys, happiness. Sometimes, um, oh, uh, small accidents or maybe something which you don't feel good about. But um, every single day has uh, something very good for us. So we are going. We are in an arts class right now. And we are going to make something different today. Um, that is a craft we are going to make, and that is called a spin drum. Do you know about the spin drum? They're like different kinds of drums. So we are going to make a spin drum today. And I'm going to show you first how does it look like. This is the kind of spin drum uh, I have made. And this it has this sound like this. Yay! Um, I don't know whether you have seen that or not, but when we were like small kids, these are the things which used to like people sell. And when you rotate this, this makes a sound, right? So we are going to make this pin drum today. Okay, so that's so lovely. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things, uh, what I'm going to use this for, right? So uh, let me adjust my camera first. Okay, the camera has adjusted and I'm going to show you uh, what I will be uh, needing uh, for that. So basically, uh, I've used uh, these two beads. Um, uh, I am using... Uh, First of all, I'll just put it over here so you can just see uh, what are the things which you have used for this. First of all, uh, I have painted these cardboards. This is the cardboard which I am been using, right? So I have painted it white. Uh, you can paint it in any color. That's up to you. You can make it black and then paint it. You can uh, like use different different things. Then I have made these. Um, sticks this is a kind of straws you can even use straws for that but i've made that and how i've made that <coughs> uh, this is <coughs> the piece of uh, old uh, new, uh, the magazine i had so i have cut that into two pieces like this this is the paper which i've used and then i have rolled that from here so i basically roll it using uh, this kind of um, Right. So if you just put it like this, and then you start rolling it, rolling it, roll, roll, roll. So you're gonna make that stick. This is already rolled, but that opened up. That's why it's a little difficult. So roll it again. But that's okay. I'm just have, I just have to show you that how we can make these straws uh, with the um, extra papers that we have already at home. Maybe the old magazines we can use. Uh, we can even use the old newspapers, right? So see this, how easily you can make that. This is already rolled, so I could not make it uh, very perfectly. So then at the end, what you can do is you can just join it with the gum, or maybe you can join it with the um, uh, glue gun, but glue gun, the kids are not going to use it because this is very, very hot. So I don't recommend this uh, for the small. Oh, see, this is very hot. Oops, 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 oops. So we need to use this. Right. The glue gun is very, very hot. So I don't recommend uh, the small kids to use it. Not even like with elders because uh, this is very, very hot. And this, uh, I have, uh, you, I, I use it, but they're like many times I got burnt with this, 
point. So I don't recommend that. It, it was just, I am going to tell you that uh, this is how I make these sticks, which I can use a, a, everywhere. Like uh, you must have seen me using these uh, for like holding the alphabets uh, and holding the things like that. So I just pasted behind that. So uh, I'm going to use this. Then I will be using the string, right? Now you have to look this uh, for the string, uh, which uh, will not be very thick, uh, which will not be very uh, thin even, so that don't break easily. So I took the two uh, uh, pieces of uh, this. This is very, uh, this is not very uh, thick, but this is very strong, right? And this I will be using to hold uh, these, um, uh, sorry. Uh, so I, I'm, these beads, I'm going to hold that. You can use the uh, wooden beads. I didn't have the wooden beads, so I have used these glass beads uh, uh, right now because um, I don't have the wooden beads. So these are the beads I'm using right now. You can take the wooden beads as well. Uh, you can that. Then I'll be using a couple of paints as well uh, to make it a little uh, colorful. So we will be doing that even, right? And yes, I will be using this to make the holes as I have made over here. If you can see these holes I have to make, right? So I'll be using this. Uh, so these are the things we'll be using today. So we are going to just start right now. Okay, so I'm just taking them off. Uh, we are going to make one today. So we will be using these two right so as i told you that you can make even like different uh colors uh you can make different sizes you can make a smaller one you can make this a size you can make a little bigger one as well but i think this is uh, the um, uh, comfortable size uh, which we can use for right so um, for the pasting i'm using uh, the hot gun uh, right now why because that is going to stick it uh, easily together I think I'm using the wrong. Yeah, this is three pair because they are of the same thickness. And these two are of the same thickness. See? Right? They both have different thicknesses. I'm going to use um, which one should I? Okay, I'm going to go for this. Right? So, first of all, what we're going to do is we're just going to put them like this because uh, initially we're going to paste this over here. Right? First of all, we're going to paste that. Then we're going to make the holes and then we will be doing the uh, painting, okay? So I'm just putting the glue gun over here. The glue gun is very hot as I tell you. Uh, so uh, you should be very careful, but I recommend kids not to use it because I have burnt my hand many times and very badly. So I don't want my kids, my students to burn their hands. So that's why I don't recommend you for this, right? So now we are going to put our, um, uh, this, um, which side should I go for? Any? Okay. So I'm just going to put it over here. This is going to stick like this. And then I'm going to sandwich it with the uh, next circle, which I have made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just press it harder, right? I'm going to press it harder so that is going to stick together quickly, right? Because uh, this is very hot and this even um, dries up quickly. So, and uh, this has like very strong, uh, it is a very strong gum. But I also again say, and I recommend that please, 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 kids don't use hot gun at home, this is not for you. This is not recommended for the kids to use, please, because this is very hot, very, very hot, right? So if there is somebody with you who can use that, so please ask them to use it for you. Otherwise use the glue and then put this under something which is um, uh, 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 something uh, very uh, a weight, like put it under the weight, like maybe another mattress, maybe under uh, like something which you can put some heavy 
wait on that and leave it for a little while, right? So um, I am using Google Live because I have to do this in the class right now and I have to show you. So I have to use that. So see, now we have made the base of this um, uh, spin drum, right? So this is how it's going to look like. Right, maybe you can put a little more glue here so this even gets stuck. See, I I'm using the hot glue over here so this straw does not come out. So, I hope that's it. That is enough. So, I'm just holding it, I'm just pressing it so this gets stuck. Okay, so I'm just putting it away because it's it's very, very, it's very hot. And I have burned my hands many times. So I, it is really scary for me to even use this, right? So see, I am pressing it and it has already got stuck because this dries even uh, quickly, right? So this dries very quickly. So I'm just holding it to get a little dry. Okay, well, we, I have taken this string. Now what we're going to do is, I'm going to take this. It has got the sharp uh, little, uh, this is a chicken stick, right? We make a uh, shish talk on it. We make a light body on it. So this is that stick I'm using over here. Right, I had the needle as well, but I'm not using the needle because this is not as thick as this is. Uh, we want the hole so that the string can go in, right? So I'm not using the needle, I'm using this uh, the stick, the wooden stick, right? So the wooden stick we are going to use over here. And uh, in the middle here, we are going to just mark that we want our thread to be here, right? So I'm going to mark over here. And then with the help of this wooden uh, chicken stick, which on which we make chicken stick, we are going to make a hole like this, right? Slowly, just you are going to, ah, it has come out, right? See, now we're just going to make a hole. So we're going to, so, I hope we can make a, uh, see, we have made a hole over here, right? But in the same way, we're going to make the other hole over here with the help of this again. So you need to put, okay, you have to take care of your hands. You don't have to put your finger just right behind that. So when it comes out, you can get hurt. So, right? So put your fingers over here and just press it a little, or, or like press it a little like this, right? Okay. So let's see, it hasn't come out yet. See, it's coming out, coming out. Something is coming out. See, if you're going to put your finger over here, this is going to hurt you, right? So we have to take care of this as well. Okay, yay. So we have made the four. Okay, that is great, right? So we've got two holes over here. That is great. Now, what we're going to do is that you're going to take the bead first, okay? And we are going to put the thread in the bead, right? Like this, okay? So we have put the thread into the bead. You can even just, um, maybe, can we just, we can like twist it, making a braid if it stays there. I don't know whether if it's going to stay there or not. Let's see, uh, I don't think so, it's just going to stay there. Okay. So now what we're going to do is, we're going to put this thread into the hole which we have made. Okay. Now again, we will be using this to push it. And we'll be using the back side, which is not sharp. That's great. Okay. 
Okay, now oh, the thread has come out. Both of them, yes. Both of them. No, this is only one. The other one has stuck. Okay, no problem. We're going to push that again. So that both the threads. Let's see, yeah. Okay. Both of them, see, both the strings are out. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a knot over here. Right. So let's make a knot over here. Okay. Oh my God. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. I was about to make that, but somehow I missed it. No problem, no problem. I'll just do it again. Okay, that is great. I did it. Okay, so I'm just going to make a knot like this. Okay. So I've put the knot. Okay. Now the first one is ready. Uh, we will, um, la later we are going to put some glue over here so that it sticks. Now we're going to take the other bead and we are going to see now we have made another this one so the second side of this pin drum is ready also so we are just going to twist it a little just like that i'm just twisting it to give it a shape that's fine it's up to you if you want to make it a twist or not that's that's not necessary okay so again we're going to put the thread over here one part comes out easily and the other gets stuck inside let's see one of the string is out and the other is still over here why are you going inside? Go inside. Complete the task. Let's try once again. I think the both friends want to go together. So okay, no problem. So we can do that. If we are going to put that over here at the tip of this, maybe. Okay, and then we can just push it up here. Ah, oops. They're like a little stubborn. They're not going inside. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Now, again, we're going to make a knot over here. Another knot. Yeah. Okay, so we have got another lot of issue. It's great. Okay, so you see, we got both of these done. So to make them a little more uh, strong, we will just put a drop of hot glue over here and the other over here. Right. Again, I'm telling you that you're not going to use the hot glue. Please, 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 kids. This is not for you to use. Ask somebody else, your elders, to just do it for you. Okay. Yay. So the basic of our spin drum is done. Well, basically, we just um, uh, put it like this so that can, that can hold both of these strings so but let it get, get dry so if we okay so this is like as i tell you that right this is ready so now what we're going to do is uh, we can make like some um, um painting on that 
So let's see if you can make some prints on it. So we're just going to make it a little colorful so that looks nice and bright, right? Yay, so we can make just patterns on it, like zigzag. Okay, we're gonna make zigzag line. Oh, zigzag line. I'm gonna make pink. Okay, that looks nice. You can add colors in your screen drop. That's great. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. You can even make an outline if you want to. Uh, you can even use uh, some yellow paint to maybe oh, my yellow paint has gone. It has turned into orange. Oh my god. No problem. No problem. So we can just make the patterns like is like this. Mm. See, we can make some patterns like this. Wow, you can even make an outline if you want to give it an outline. I want to add a lot of water to give it a little thick so you can make outline like this okay so you can make an outline for that to give it a little color so that is going to look even more beautiful okay you can even use more colors. You can even make different kind of patterns. Uh, so we'll just see. I want to add a little more blue. Hmm. Okay. Not really pretty. It looks good. Yay. So we get even put a line over here. Okay, not bad. Not bad. So I have painted well. Okay. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look even much pretty, but that's okay. So our spin drum is ready. So I'm going to adjust my camera there. Okay, so our spin drum is ready. It's um, still wet. So we are now going to move it. Uh, but the one I have made already, as I told you, so I can make the sound. So we'll just try making this at home. So that is going to give you, so see, I have made the pattern over here with the markers. You can even make uh, these uh, circles, triangles. You can color it any type of uh, shape. You can give it to uh, this. So the paint is wet, so I'm not going to move it uh, because the beads will get the paint. So this is the skin drum, which you can make of different sizes, of different shapes, uh, of different colors, whatever you like. I've told you to make the straws as well. So you can make the straws as well very easily. And uh, you can uh, use them to play. You can even use uh, them uh, to, you can even make them to give it uh, as a gift uh, to the people, to the poor people, to the kids who cannot afford something to play with. So you can make these kind of things and you can uh, present them. Uh, so they'll be very happy that you have made something with your hands to give it to them, right? So this was our arts class. And we, are to, uh, we have made uh, today uh, spin drums. So I hope you like that. I also like that. So we're going to see each other in the next class. Till then, uh, I'm going to say goodbye to you from this class now. Uh, till then, stay safe, be happy, and be grateful for whatever you have. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Yay, that's great, that's great, that's great. Okay, so inshallah, see you soon. Till then, Allah is and bye-bye.